feels very free to go out in the ocean that is calm, that is clear water. There's a great reward of it by just feeling this energy. I came here in 1990. I was 20 years old. I already had uh, worked for three years in a big sports department store in Germany and I just was ready to go a little bit more in the adventure of life. And arriving in the Dominican Republic really beat everything I've seen till then. What was probably one of the finest things I could do here is witnessing the progress, not just of myself, but of many people around me. There was a lot of beautiful stories and moments to share. My parents moved here to the Dominican Republic when I was five years old. And I would say Marcus was like the big brother slash uncle from day one. He was trying to push us to do surfing, to do windsurfing, to do any kind of water sports. And he's dedicated his whole life to the north coast of the DR. And I think it's thanks to him that this place is flourishing. In 1997, we installed the first kiteboard operation here in the Dominican Republic. What you see here, it was called the Cabarete Kids Team, where we supported six local kids to go to school and they received windsurf equipment that was custom made for them. I was a windsurfer, so I see Marcus all the time just going very fast. And by the time I learn it, we become good friends. Thanks to him, we're all having a great time here in Cabarete because he introduced us into the sport. Cabarito is one of the few places in the world you can surf, windsurf, kitesurf, and stand up paddleboard in one day. The consistency of the conditions with waves and wind and the warm water temperature with sunshine all year, it really makes the place unbelievable for professional athletes and uh, for everybody to learn. I call it a tropical playground. That's living in the DR. 